are there a few industry industries like the aggregates and, and things like that that's sort of that primary driver or is it pretty evenly distributed through multiple industries i think the dump industry is what we would say is our primary our bread and butter industry here at k-line and we build hundreds of uh we call them transfer trailers is the main product we build that's our the, the main product so the dump industry uh the aluminum gravel truck industry the the thing with k-line is um and actually to be honest i didn't understand this um i i knew there was a a huge customized component to everything you did i didn't realize i thought there was sort of some standard lines though but pretty much everything you put out is custom is that right that's correct, Jared. We build very little, if any, stock trailers. We get the order and we're building that custom trailer for the, the customer. And to me, that's really the joy of what we do. We're not running an assembly line, not running a, you know, a big production factory. It's more about building these one-off trailers or sometimes there's multiples, but it's always tailored just for that customer and for their needs. And that's the fun of it. Every customer's got a unique slant on what they want. And you think you've done it all and then you know you talk to the next customer and there's a new avenue they want to explore maybe a little more payload a little more flexibility in the design a little more user features so it's just like i compare it to building homes you know we've we're building different homes every day there's a different floor plan there's no one size fits all and i think trailers are the same you know there are trailers you can buy that are built in an assembly line and they probably do things fairly well but they're not going to be just exactly right for your needs. And that's where we come in. I want to, I just, just so I get the name right, what, what, what did you say is that main, the aluminum uh, dump? What, what is that? What do you call that? We call it a transfer, transfer truck and trailer. And it's a unique to the West Coast, mainly in the West Coast. And I can back up way up and discuss last night, I actually started L. Knight and Company in 1967. And last night, who is the owner of K-Line, I know we're covering a lot of ground. No, he, that's, what, that's what the show's for. <laughs> he, he, he developed the, uh, the transfer trailer in the 60s at L. Knight and Company. And when K-Line started in 1994, we continued that transfer trailer line. Now, the idea of a transfer truck and trailer, to anyone who's not familiar with seeing them, is we actually back the truck up to the trailer, and you can transfer that trailer box into the truck. And that gives the user great flexibility. He can take that full payload and you know back it down an alley down a steep hill and dump and deliver that load in places that a standard four axle wagon type trailer you just couldn't get it in there that truck really gives great flexibility and especially in the city uh, vancouver seattle the west coast area here hmm. what the, something i was trying to understand um, when you were saying that each one so these now what is the what is the customized component like what are some examples of um if you've got 10 customers lined up that need those what is it is it capacity requirements um is it is it uh, what would be what would make one different from the other on the transfer truck and trailer side it's not as varied as the low bed or the specialty side oh, okay. so they're similar design where the customization comes in is typically in the looks and some of the uh, the accessories mm -hmm. each customer is going to want to have his unique look and we get into you know paint schemes and lighting configurations and there are options as well but it does tend more toward the appearance on the transfer trailers is what I makes it custom. yeah well i mean i've seen a lot of k-line <laughs> i should stress this a lot of those trailers around vancouver i mean do you have any idea I don't want to put you on the spot. Do you have any idea how many there are in the lower mainland of, alone? Is, do you have be, any idea? It'd be thousands, I would say. We build about 150 units per year, and that's been going on since K-Line started in 1994. That's, that's Well, I swear, every time that I'm uh, stuck on, you know, when they, you have to cross the train track and you're stuck behind the slowest truck in the world, Sorry. Um, that is, it's always K-Line. Yes. <laughs> so it's great advertising. Um, Let's, let's talk about the low beds. Um, that is, um, I mean, it's, it's also a major part of your business. Um, what is the process of going into these specialized, these low beds? Because now you're talking about, I mean, you're, these are either hauling a, a wide variety of, of heavy hauls, or you're talking about having to transport something very specific. Can you talk about that process? Because 
for me, you know, and, and probably for a lot of people watching, we've all seen these crazy loads going down the highway and you're thinking, like, how did they even pull that off? Or how'd they get permits for that? And so can you talk about that process of, um, uh, of what it takes to put those together? Absolutely, I'd love to. Uh, as I mentioned, I actually drove before K-Line and I was a low bed operator. Oh. So that's the fun for me is working on the low beds and working with the customer. The process typically starts with sales as, as most, you know, does, most of these things happen with a company. You, you phone in and talk to either a salesman here at K-Line or one of our dealers. From there, we'll work on what we call a sales drawing. So we'll put together the layout on, on paper, on CAD, and give you an idea, you know, what's this gonna look like? What's it gonna weigh? What you're gonna be able to haul for, for payload? Then we'll get into the spec, we'll write up the, uh, the, the specifications, figure out the pricing, and work out the deal with the customer. Once the agreements are done, then we really get to work here. And engineering will start and we'll take that, that sales drawing, as we call it, and turn it into production drawings. And that can take sometimes a fair amount of time. On a very custom project like these ones featured on the wall behind me, this can take months to go through the design from this initial sales drawing to the detailed shop drawings. Once that's done, then it's time for engineering to pass it off to the production team in the shop. And we have a full fabrication production facility here at K-Line. We've got uh, over 10 acres, 120,000 square feet manufacturing facility. Wow. And we will we'll build most of it in-house. So we will start with the, the templates that get made by the engineering team. And those templates or shapes as we call them, will go to the burn tables. And we have two in-house burn tables. They're 40 feet long. They're capable of burning steel up to two inches thick. And we'll cut that shape out and basically Everything you see in a K-Line trailer starts as flat plate. And we'll take those flat plates and then we'll further work them. So we have an in-house uh, brake press as well. We can form those, those plates. So you'll see on the box beh behind me there that it's got kind of a round formed section. And that's something we've done in our big brake press here. We've got the largest brake press on the West Coast that we know of. And we can form those long sheets of plate and get them ready for fabrication.